closing the polls for the Verity Scan ballot counter. If you used the emergency ballot bin during the day, remove any ballots you have placed in the emergency ballot bin. To do this, remove the red security clip on the back of the ballot box to access the emergency ballot bin. Then insert all ballots from the emergency ballot bin into the ballot counter before closing the polls. Cast the ballot as is if a voter undervotes or overvotes. To close the polls, press the blue poll worker button on the back of the ballot counter to begin the process. Wait until 7 p.m. to close the polls. Once the polls are closed, they cannot be reopened for voting on the ballot counter. Select Close Polls, then confirm by choosing Yes, Close the Polls. Enter the Close Polls code and select Accept. Two results tapes will print automatically. Use the results from the first tape to record the number of ballots cast in the poll book. The number of ballots cast in the poll book should match the number of ballots cast on the results tape. All judges must sign the first results tape. Place signed results tape in the white envelope from the clear document pouch attached to the orange provisional ballots bag. The second tape should be posted on the polling place door. Additional tapes may be printed at the request of poll watchers by selecting Print Tally. The polls are now closed. When you have finished printing reports, press the red power button on the back of the ballot counter to power it off. Wait for the ballot counter to completely power down and show a black screen before you unlock it to remove the tablet and return it to the cover. Use the blue key to unlock the tablet from the cradle. Remove the tablet from the cradle and place it with the screen facing forward in the cover. The screen must face forward. Make certain to latch the tablet in the cover first, then lock it with the blue key to secure it in place. Close the ballot counter lid and lock both latches using the silver key on your lanyard. Remove the cord from the back of the ballot counter and return it to the black electronic supply bag. Follow the next series of steps to remove the ballot counter from the ballot box for return to the counting station. These steps will occur after you have opened the ballot box door to secure voted ballots in their transfer boxes for return to your counting station. See the Will County Clerk Election Manual for additional ballot counter and ballot box closing procedures. Be certain to remove the power cord from the back of the ballot counter before removal. After the ballot box door is open, reach inside and gently pull the white cord at the top of the box forward toward you. This will release the ballot counter from the ballot box. Grasp the handle of the ballot counter and lift it off the ballot box. Close and lock the ballot box door. Two election judges, one from each political party, must return the locked ballot counter to your counting station on election night. Other items that must be returned include voted ballots sealed in a transfer box, your poll books placed in the black poll book return bag with the blue handle tag on the back, the orange provisional ballot bag with an attached clear documents pouch. See the Will County Clerk Election Manual for procedures on all of their documents that must be returned. Follow local procedures in the Will County Clerk Election Manual for packing all of their supplies and equipment for return. You are now ready to return your ballot counter to your counting station, which is listed on the front of the orange provisional ballots bag.